subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. I'm doing a what I eat in a day, and I promise you tonight will be shrimp and grits. No ifs, ands, and buts. I keep trying to film that, and it keeps not happening, but tonight it will happen. I'm gonna have an Alani's new protein shake munchies. I've already used this one once, so it's only about half left. So I'm gonna put in about half. And half is two points, the whole bottle is four points. And I like to make coffee out of mine, so I'm gonna add Starbucks dark roast. And hopefully I can get most of this in here. And now I'm kind of running late for work and I do have something here for breakfast. My husband picked this week coffee cake. Um, yeah, not Weight Watchers friendly probably, but I probably will have it at least one or two times. But honestly, I'm just not wanting it right now. And I have these little breakfast egg cups for like good for you food, I think they're called. And they're yummy and I would just rather get on the road since I am late and my first meeting starts at 9.30, so. I always like to check it. That Alani's new is just super sweet. I could never drink it straight up. Like I have to mix it with coffee. But if you like sweet coffee, use that one to flavor your coffee. It is sweet. It has a rich like caramely flavor. Kind of salty, sweet, caramel snacks. That's what it is, but. Okay, so I have this for two points. And then I think my little cakes are two or four at work. We'll see. Bye. Do have to always come in my craft room before leaving for work just to make sure I'm aware of what I got going on. Veterans Day, happy Veterans Day, and I got my meeting at 9.30. Just makes me feel more prepared for the day. I'm someone that gets overwhelmed and anxiety and when I put it to paper it just calms my mind so that's what I do. I wasn't feeling extremely hungry but I went ahead and had one of these veggie made great egg cups. These are not my favorite. I prefer the other ones. This is the gluten free variety. I don't like it because it has rice but I'm just getting through the box and then I'll go buy the huge box from Costco again which is my fave. The texture of these is just slightly off. I just did half a mile and a little less than 15 minutes. Just a slow walk to get me some steps. Didn't make me feel any better though. Okay, I have a salad. This salad's actually fresh from last week, so let's hope it's still good. Oh, it looks good. Got some tomatoes, bell pepper, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and um, bacon bits. Oh, what, what do we have? I can't even remember. Oh, just some romaine. It's getting a little brown, but that'll be fine. And then my dressing is the light vinaigrette from Olive Garden. Really, really like that one. So, this is what I'm going to have. And I will top it with a few toppings. I am literally down to the bottom of the bag for my croutons. I don't even think it's truly a point's worth. No, <laughs> I'm not going to count a point for that. That's not worth it. <laughs> but I am going to do a sprinkle of sunflower seeds for a point. There we go. So all in all, a point for the sunflower seeds, a point for the dressing, and then a point for the bacon bits. So a three-point salad. I'm going to put the lid on and give it a shake. I'm so annoyed. I just remembered that I had rotisserie chicken at home from Costco and I could have like grabbed some of the breast, but I didn't even think about it. Usually I grab it from my freezer and I knew I was out in my freezer, so I just didn't bring any, but oh well. There is what she's looking like. This will be so yummy. That looks like a lot of dressing for me, but that's okay. And I am going to have a Dr. Pepper Zero. I am having a glass of black tea. I am about to head home and I'm going to have one of these skinny rice bars. What flavor is this? Uh, almond and cranberry. I haven't had these in forever. It's like actually all broken up, but they're only two points. Also having Hint, my favorite waters. 
I like these at room temperature and this one's blueberry lemon for zero points. It's time to start the shrimp and grits and I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to this meal. So I got a pound of shrimp. I'll have to peel and devein these. I like to season them up with Tony's krill seasoning. You gotta be careful because this is salty, but I like to add extra flavor with smoked paprika and cayenne. I'm gonna use these uh, small cherry tomatoes from my garden. Not sure how many we'll look at that. Um, the key ingredient is spicy V8. It makes a quick and easy sauce. You can also do it homemade just with like tomato puree, but I personally really like using the V8. Um, I have a tiny bell pepper from my garden. I'm just going to go ahead and chop it up, mainly just to use it. Same with one of these peppers, just for a little added heat. Going to use the whites of the onions and then also the greens to top. I got some Quaker grits right here. And then this is just mushrooms. So I'm going to actually get my mushrooms going while I dice up my peppers and my onion. And then I will just split in half the um, bell peppers but over here my pot for my grits I'm gonna add two cups of water whoopsie I was looking at my hand not the camera and then this will get ready with a little bit of Pam spray for the vegetables correction olive oil spray that is spraying very oddly sprayed up I want the mushrooms to cook down really, really well, so I'm going to dice them up first. Um, just to, you know what, I'm going to get a bigger cutting board. I want to get them to cooking, so they're already sliced. These are Baby Bella's, 8 ounces. I bought it part of a bigger container and used the rest earlier in the week. So I'm just going to give these a rough chop. You can definitely leave them whole. I re -up my dog. I one fell on the floor and he just knocked out over trying to get it. Hope mushrooms aren't poisonous. That's why you're not even supposed to be in the kitchen, Rio. He's not supposed to be in here. So annoying. Okay, so that's good. So eight ounces of mushrooms. May seem like I'm a lot of mushrooms, but mushrooms cook down to like Hardly anything. I'm gonna go ahead and dice up the bell pepper. It'd help if I turn the pan on. So I make um, shrimp and grits a lot of different ways. I make it like this, and then I also have a version where you do like corn, and it's more like a Mexican style. And then I also have a more Italian style version, just kind of like all over, but I will say this one's probably my favorite. I know I have one with sun-dried tomatoes, and honestly, I can't remember if it's this version that I put the tomatoes in. I'm debating whether or not I want to do that or not. I'm adding just a little bit of this pepper, and that's because we're already adding spicy stuff, and I don't want it to be too terribly spicy, so just a tiny bit of pepper. You could definitely leave it out too. And I probably should have put on gloves. <laughs> Just forgetting a star ingredient, garlic. <laughs> but I'm going to use the whole bushel of the whites. I like a lot of onion. But once the vegetables start cooking, then I'll go prepare my shrimp. Save those for garnish. Usually when I do this, my husband helps me because grits, you kind of got to like man them the whole time, like keep an oversight on them. So usually once they start cooking, he helps, but I have not asked for his assistance yet. So I'm just going to do three bigger cloves of garlic. You can do more or less, just depends on your preference. I thought I heard my cue. <laughs> for the grits, not quite yet. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind helping when it's time. Put these in my garlic pressed in straight into my this. I am gonna have all my tomatoes and that is just because I do not like them popping in my mouth. That's the only reason. You can definitely leave them whole if it doesn't bother you. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna put these in till like the very last second. 
like once the shrimp's cooked and everything, I'm just gonna prep them for now. I know for the aesthetics, I should clean out my sink before I do this, but I'm too lazy and it's a Monday night, so you get to see that I have dirty dishes in my sink, yay, yay. Oh, I didn't know these were already deveined. They're already slit, that's good. And my water has come to a boil, so my husband's slowly gonna stir in the grits. That's, that's my cue? That's your cue. <laughs> so you just pour it in little by little and whisk. And it'll get thick as it goes. You're not really gonna hurt that pan, you know? It's not like you're whisking something dry in it. Yeah. So. And depending on your brand of grits, they'll take anywhere from 5 to like 20 minutes. But you do have to watch them because they'll get thick and start popping. So that is his job. This is looking good. My vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes while I handle my shrimp. I cut most of the tomatoes up. I left a few a little big. I'll, I'll survive it popping in my mouth. We have a lot more tomatoes now too. Okay. I know. I used all these though. So I'm just going to let this cook and reduce down. It's going to be nice and sweet. Because my, my to cherry tomatoes from my plant, they are sweet. They're called like sweet bops or sweet something. So let me see about these shrimp. I was excited they're already deveined. They're already cut. I don't know if the veins are out. But either way, that's a, that's a positive. Okay. Yeah, so my... my Shrimp are already like easy pills, so they're already split. Most of them are clean, so that's wonderful. So, very, very easy. Hey, this is at a rabbit hole, right? You turn it down now? Yeah, go ahead and turn it down to a simmer. So if you push the tail, it pushes it out, and then you can just pull it all out in one piece. So let me speed through this, and I'm going to add these to my pan. And we will be cooking in just a few minutes, meaning ready to eat. Okay, so I got all my shrimp peeled and deveined, and then I'm going to add them directly to my vegetables. I did rinse them off. Okay, now how, here's where I want to make sure I season it up. Tony Zatarans. But like I said, this stuff's salty, so be careful. Shrimp will only take about three to five minutes. That's why I like to do them at the end. Then smoked paprika. If you got bay seasoning, old bay or something, that also works well. Or any type of seafood krill. Because I usually actually use Cajun too now I'm thinking about it. And just a tiny bit of cayenne, not much. I do have some Cajun, so I'm going to go ahead and add it. Even though it's almost the same thing as krill. I like both. My husband's dying. I'm about <laughs> to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Stir all this around and let the shrimp cook. And the grits are nice and done. So we're going to turn those off the heat and add some butter. And so we are going to splurge tonight and use some real butter. I've been loving my Timu butter holder. It's amazing. Uh -huh. So we'll use because to scoop them out. So not much, probably about half a tablespoon. We'll put that in there. Then we're also going to add some low-fat mozzarella. We really like using Gouda too, but we just don't have any. Hang on. Obviously, you can leave this out as well. And then salt and pepper. I'm actually not going to salt them because I expect this topping is going to be salty enough. So, once he gets that and combined, he'll just put the lid on them and so we can keep them warm while this finishes. So, my, my shrimp are almost done. You definitely could let them finish cooking, but I'm trying to, it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this V8 spicy. Obviously, you can use the non-spicy version. We just like this one. And this recipe is like a recreation from one of the mill deliveries. Um, they sent the can in it and ever since they sent that can and we made it that way That's how I've been doing it at home Now you add as much as you like some people like a thicker Shrimp and grits some people like it saucy. I personally like it saucy because you got to have a good baguette to like soak up everything so You know you, you do it what you want to do 
But for your shrimp, you're just looking for them to like no longer look pink and translucent. If you cook shrimp a couple times, you'll be able to figure it out real quick when they're ready. I'm gonna add, I probably added a fourth of that can. I'm gonna add just a little bit more and then I'll check my seasonings as well. And my heat's like on medium heat and I like to keep moving it too. And I do not drink V8, so don't worry if you're not a V8 lover, if it's too tomatoey, don't worry, you can still have this meal, I promise you that. Another thing, I like to add some vegetables, some more uh, zucchini is a good one to bulk it up, but just didn't do that this time. Now it's time for a seasoning check. This is really, really simple, guys. It's less than 30 minutes start to finish. Right now I'm at like 25 minutes, I think. But granted, I did have my husband help me. You can do it along, long, but it definitely is more difficult to keep everything, the grits, stirring. So, I'm going to try it for seasoning. Very good. I'm going to call that perfect. Turn it off. It'll get a little thicker as it sits as well. It is spicy, though. you got to like spice. So, we cooked two servings of grits, which is only a half a cup. And this made a ton, so I don't know if we're gonna use, no, we may use it, we'll use it all. We may have enough topping to do three port. No, it's not as much grits as I thought. It's like actually perfect. So if you do the grits, these are Quaker, and don't add any of the butter or cheese, then they are four points for a serving, which you can see you get a big serving. But the way I prepared them, they are six points per serving, but highly, highly worth it in my opinion. And if you're afraid of grits, or if you never had them, I highly suggest shrimp and grits is a great way to try them. But that's the like grit consistency we're looking for. They're a little tighter than usual, but with all the sauce, it'll be fine. Which one do you want me to be? Over here, because I gotta be on this side to do this stuff. So. Yeah. And so we're gonna divide all of it, just, over the two bowls. You definitely can make this in three servings, but this is not that many points at all. Gotta get every last drop. You could add extra cheese on top. I usually don't, but I do garnish it with green onion. Another thing I like to garnish it with, which also came from the like meal delivery, is a little bit of chopped peanuts, but we just don't have any. You know what, hang on. I actually just bought a bag of mix, mixed nuts, so I'm gonna pick out just a handful of peanuts. You know what? You want salt this one doesn't have peanuts. I lied, this bag doesn't have any peanuts. My troll mix has peanuts in it? No, I, that one has chocolate, I'm not doing that. Um, then it would be like mole shrimp and grits. No. It'd be like nasty shrimp and grits. <laughs> I also forgot my baby baguettes from Trader Joe's. Love these things. They're only three points each too, which is great for bread. Okay, so I said my grits were six points, could be four. My baguette is three. The topping is, I think, zero. Let me scan that VA. Okay, half a can is one point, but I use that over two servings, so a fourth of a cup is zero. So let me think, did I add anything with points? No, did not. So you only had to count points for the cheese and the breadstick. Obviously you can make the grits lower points. You can leave off the baguette. You could also serve this over like cauliflower rice and eliminate the grits all together to make it super low carb. But obviously we're not doing that tonight because I have the points and that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's it. Told you I'd show you sure my grits. Make points for butter? It's in my grits. I'm counting yeah. points for butter. It's not in my sauce. Okay. Yeah. I counted for the cheese and butter in the grits. No. Right. Friends, I didn't end up eating all mine. I only ate about half. It was plenty filling. So I'm actually going to save this bit and take it to lunch tomorrow. So instead of counting six points for the grits, I'm only going to count four. I don't know. It's probably really only three, but I don't know. Just keep it at four and then... Also three for the baguette. I did eat all the baguettes.
But I am going to put my shoes on and take my doggies for a walk. I'm supposed to lift weights tonight, but I just still don't feel that great. And I want to move so walking's easy, so I can do that. Although it is pitch black outside, and I don't really like walking in the dark, but it'd be okay. I have mace. And I'm not really that scared of the people. It's, I'm scared like a dog's going to be loose and I won't see them because of my dogs. But I wear like a light on me and stuff, so I'll be fine. Rio and I just got back from our walk. I forgot to take a clip, but it was a nice peaceful walk. Listen to a few uh, videos. There's some YouTube videos I have that I don't have to watch and I just listen. So that was a-okay, but my flashlight broke. Like the back came off, so my husband's going to try to fix that when he's done working out. But like I said, two miles in 45 minutes. It was a nice walk. And now it's 9 o'clock at night, and I'm going to call it a night. Try to get some rest. I just feel like low energy. I'm not so sure if the COVID's still not affected me just a little bit obviously i don't think i'm infectious or anything you know it's been like a long time but i'm finding myself it's my chest feels tight but very very high so i don't know but i did pretty good on my points today dinner was absolutely delicious i mean i don't know why we don't eat that more often it's cheap if you can find shrimp on sale it's cheap and now like one pound of shrimp is cheaper than buying a lot of different meats like steaks and red meat and whatnot so, I, grits are super cheap. You can make it a thousand ways. So I actually saved the rest of that V8 juice. And I think we're gonna have shrimp and grits again next week. And next week, maybe I'll do like the sun-dried tomato version just to twist it just a tiny bit. So, ooh, and I could throw in some corn or, or maybe sun-dried tomato and zucchini. That sounds good. But anyways, that's it, friends. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Take care, bye. Asher says hi and bye. He is very angry. He didn't get to go for a walk, but that is because when I got home from work, he went crazy dog, like running, sprinting, and he was doing it. And he cut his paws. Both his back paws were bleeding. So he had to stay home, but daddy did give him a big bully stick, stick treat while Rio and I were out and about. And two miles is far for Rio, so he's exhausted. <laughs> Gotta go get that boy some water.